sure that it's a non-smoking uber because even though this guy was really really nice and he waited for us and everything when we got in the car he was smoking and neither one of us smoked so that was really irritating so when i was checking us in for our flight they told us that we could upgrade for like $40 a person. So I ended up upgrading this to first class. This is American Airlines. And this is my first time riding first class. This is the shorter leg of our flight. It's only like an hour. But I was like, hey, why not? I mean, I've never rode first class before. I think my mother has, but it's the first for me. So when I got on and I realized, cause you know, with the movies you think it's one way, but when you get on, you realize first class is really just the big seats. <laughs> but this was where I stored my drink for the entire duration of the ride i didn't know where we were supposed to like eat and put our drinks and stuff and i found the tray inside the armrest so that was pretty cool um it was some some stuff about it that i thought was pretty dope but i definitely expected something different now i will say she offered us pre-departure drinks it was freezing in cleveland so i ordered a tea it was not good at all but i ordered tea because it was warm and before we took off she came back and took the cups back and yeah we rode for an hour like this will i do it again yes will i do it for 600 dollars a ticket probably not but for a 40 dollar upgrade this was excellent to me so the plan for this leg was to watch a movie and then sleep on the next one but y'all y'all know i don't sleep the night before a flight so that didn't work so this is when i woke up in chicago <laughs> So recently I realized I have become allergic to the latex and eyelash glue and my lashes were itching so bad and my eyelids were itching so bad so that's why I was scratching them. Later on in the video you'll see that those came right off. I got to the resort and took them off. And real quick y'all Chicago's airport during Christmas time is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Y'all will see in a minute what I mean, but they had decorations everywhere. Man. I know. Those are awesome. When we were getting on our plane in Cleveland, they mentioned a Gary Cincy Foundation and said that it was something about families of soldiers going to Disney World. And I did not know exactly what that meant. But when we got off and we were walking through to our gate, we saw that it was a bunch of military personnel, active duty and veterans. And what they're actually doing is sending the families of fallen soldiers out to disney world on them and it was so nice they had it set up so nice for them and this is what i meant by they had it decorated so nice like cleveland would never this was beautiful but y'all not just this even when we came back like the whole airport was decorated outside was decorated i've never been to chicago before but i have heard some stuff and when i say their airport just really puts you in that home alone nostalgic christmas vibe i don't know it was just it was so pretty and i don't know if i got any of the footage when we was coming back so unfortunately i don't think i can show y'all that but this alone just had me in absolute awe because y'all saw what cleveland did and believe me that was it this right here is another cleveland would never it's a charging station the whole table is a charging station and we sat here and talked for a little while but again cleveland we got to step our game up because Chicago's airport is killing it. Now, I don't know about y'all, 
but this is my first time ever getting off of a plane on the tarmac i'm usually pulling up to the gate getting off regular regular so this whole thing right here to me was super dope and it had me feeling like i don't even know who it had me feeling like but i felt really important and then we ended up getting on this bus to go around to the main airport which was like two seconds away but y'all when i say no offense to any of my uh mexican familia that might be watching but y'all know that old uh stereotype about how mexicans gonna put 30 people in one little car let me tell y'all they had us on this bus like a whole bunch of mexicans they was not making two stops they was only making one and they made that clear by the way we was on this bus okay it's standing room only there was not one seat in sight they fit everybody on that plane on this one bus but look at them look at them eyes it was just it was beautiful <laughs> So before we left Cleveland, I had booked round trip transportation through Amstar. So when we got to Cabo, there was a guy with a sign with my name on it waiting for us. We had private transportation. Um, just a quick tip. When you get ready to go to Cabo or maybe any Mexican city, um, book your transportation online and then go straight outside. If you book it online, I promise you they are outside waiting for you. Don't let them stop you in that airport because all they about to do is hustle you into some sort of uh, presentation for excursions or anything else. You see that? That man was outside with my name this whole time. But yet they hustled us into a presentation the next day with some excursions because they made it seem like that we had to go stop there for our transportation. And we did not. So just go straight outside. Your ride is outside waiting. I promise. Thank you. Oh, my Ryan would love this. They got the tree, palm tree. My baby love palm tree. So, yeah, I was recording most of these clips for social media, like my TikToks and my Instagram reels. I promise I'm going to get my life together and change this uh, rotation, I guess you would call it as far as how the camera is i promise y'all i get my life together at some point but i originally was not making these clips for youtube so just bear with me Now, let me put y'all up. If y'all ain't never had one of these before, this drink right here is called a Miami Vice. That's a pina colada mixed with a strawberry daiquiri. Let me tell you something. Do yourself a favor and get you one, okay? Get it. This is a very important piece of paper. And be honest with the other guy. Oh, mm -hmm. I said the swimmer bar is under construction. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, that is like. Oh, we should have got something like that. <laughs> that what we should have got. Huh? 
Look at, uh -huh. look at that view. It's beautiful. The view. <laughs> We here. We got we got distracted by the view. Distracted by the view. Oh, we gotta take another elevator. Six oh, they four. better come up the who? Six floor. So we come up to what the second floor? Six. six. And then come over here and go to six. Every time? Okay. I'm gonna be on this side. What's your number? Twenty six and three. Oh yo, we two on the sixth floor. I'm gonna be over here the whole time. <laughs> Oh, do we have a change time? Is your phone didn't adjust? No, I'm sad. I got to call, text him and tell him we need to change our time. From instead of oh, 9 yeah. in the morning. Okay, we still going, but we just need to change the time. Right. Oh, it's a horse out here, Ma. It's a horse out here. A couple of them. It's a horse out here. He right here. A whole. I know that. So this was our first night's dinner at this resort. And much like all of the food at this resort, it was a no. A big no. I don't even think I took pictures or recorded most of the meal because we spent so much time complaining about it that I honestly forgot to take pictures and stuff. I might have one. Yep, this one. And that's it. After dinner there, we went down to the beach. They had a buffet down there. I believe they said they had it every night. One night we didn't see it, but um, actually I think this was the only night that we actually ate awesome. dinner at the resort. I remember oh, no. eating dinner at the resort twice. There's no stink. I don't know what we did for dinner every other day, to be honest with you. But down here the food was better. It wasn't great, but it was better. I think we don't have a choice. This is that presentation we got conned into. Well, we actually ended up having to do two. We did one because we ended up having to do it from the airport for the excursions. And then the next one was for our room, quote, unquote, upgrade for our ocean view. This was a homeowner's, or not a homeowner, but a owner's suite. Um, yeah, it was nice. It was real nice. If they wanted us to buy, they probably should have put us in this room. But, hey, we didn't. But still, this was part of the presentation. I will say that I like about their presentations that they feed you, they take you to breakfast, they chit chat with you, then they show you this stuff and they try to liquor you up, hoping they'll get a sale. They didn't get one, but that's what they do. But y'all, this room was beautiful. And at the next resort that we went to, I couldn't record or take pictures. Um, so I got what I could where the lady told me, like, oh, you can take a picture here and I recorded a little bit before she told me I couldn't but this was breakfast where he decided to chit chat with us so he could figure out what it is um that we like so he could figure out where to go with his sales pitch but um yeah like I said about dinner this breakfast it was the same every single day and the only real good thing about it was the sausages that were kind of like hot dogs and the Mexican rice everything else was I really don't want to sound like I'm like dog in this resort but everything else was nasty so i don't know flavorless this was the other resort beautiful resort absolutely beautiful resort this is when i was recording and um the lady ended up telling me like oh we can't record because of the members and basically you know people be doing they want to on vacation and sometimes they not with the person that they supposed to be with so they don't want you recording on their properties to protect the privacy of their members we didn't buy this one either because it was like a timeshare and um we didn't want a timeshare but we did we did like the resort it was beautiful and i wish i could show y'all more truth be told if we ever go back we'll probably stay here yeah okay. mm -hmm. 
it is. Right, me too. And they got a lazy river. I love it. Lazy, lazy river. Over here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, how good. Oh my god. Don't stick your feet in there yet. What time is it? You ever do it? 339. It feels really good. You've done this before? We've never done this before. We've never done this. No. I am scared. Honestly, it feels like it doesn't even feel like anything. But it takes literally like stuff to death. Can you take a picture? I need that. My nose is like literally it feels good. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. What's that? Ready? Oh, can I see? What is it? There we go. Oh my god. 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 If any of y'all like me and y'all wondering, does this water ever get changed? I don't know. But I will say that the lady cleaned and sanitized our feet before we put our feet in the water. She did it to the couple next to us and us. And then the people who came after the couple next to us, she did the same thing to them. She did not change the water, but she did sanitize their feet first. So I don't know if this water ever gets changed. But I do know your feet get cleaned before you put your feet in. Y'all, babysitting my mom be so hard sometimes. My mother is so adventurous. She saw a coconut stand down the street from our resort and said she was about to walk down there to get a coconut so she could get some fresh coconut water. Now, I barely be wanting her to walk by herself when we in the USA. I'm definitely not letting her walk nowhere by herself in another country. So we hightailed it down the street so she can get her coconut water and we can walk back. Now, let me tell y'all, coconut water is not for me at all. Y'all can keep that in every shape or form. Y'all can keep it. But I did walk with my mama to go get it. Did you get down to the bottom? I don't know.
this was literally like a five to six minute walk from our resort so five six minutes there five six minutes back something like that it wasn't that bad it really was down the street So this was our first night eating off the resort except for the sunset cruise but that really don't count because it was touristy this was toro Guerrero. um one of the bellboys at our resort actually recommended this restaurant and y'all the food was bomb and the drinks were strong if y'all ever in cabo or i don't know if they have them anywhere else try toro Guerrero if you want good food but she was getting used to it it must not take that long to get used to because my mother said she was used to it too or getting used to it right here in the steak side we got a tomaco gabon in the ribeye with a weight of two to two kilos amazing choices share as an appetizer <laughs> And right here we got the mammoth. This one is a double bone in river with a weight of the one kilo. It's a half of the stomach up. And as a fun fact, both of them are cooking on the table right in front of you. But only the stomach up is coming with a small show. We flame it on the table in a small volcano and we throw enough every light in the restaurant. It's a good show. It's an amazing one. Right here, in case you're interested in the seafood style, we got the Caribbean lobster tail coming for the Tucson Quintana Roo in Mexico and Yucatan. And we also got the Alaskan King Crab Legs coming from Alaska, being one of the biggest crabs in the whole world. And the way we sell that is per kilo. And the way we cook it is that we cut them in half, we add some butter, and then we grill them. But if you want them cold, we can make it cold. Ram. This restaurant has a little boutique in it when you first walk in. It is so cute. But during dinner, the like bottle girls, I guess you would say, they actually model the clothes during, throughout the whole dinner. And then whenever they go change, they come back out and they put on like a little fashion show. This place is called Chambao. Another spot that if you go, go to Cabo, hit up Chambao. The food was excellent. Ambiance was excellent. And the show was cute. I used to be that second. <laughs>
vueltas. Christmas spirit, I would like to see you dancing. Come on, take a first step. Our love is gifted for you to help you through the river. I know you went through a lot, but why not take a second shot? Hey, gingerbread man, where's your Christmas spirit? Tell me, where's your Christmas spirit? Road out the red nose reindeer, the red nose reindeer is found. There'll be a miracle this time, and you will not fall into the fox's mouth. So baby, run, run, run from everyone who's gonna take a bite of you. I bet a few could leave this Christmas Eve, it's gonna be too good to be true. Yeah. Like Santa's helpers wearing all these sweaters, have a seat by the fire. Eating candy canes while my heart is good, 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 and yeah. Rudolph the red nose reindeer, the red nose reindeer was found. There'll be a miracle. This part is definitely what's going to be missed the most. Every single night, we slept with the door open so we could hear this sound, and we woke up to this sound every day so i had to catch it before we left but real quick y'all when you go to cabo make sure that you ask where the swimmable beaches are because not every beach in cabo is swimmable because of the undercurrents this beach at our resort was not swimmable dude was out there risking it all hopefully he was fine i didn't hear anything when we got back but just make sure you ask for swimmable beaches because not every beach is swimmable and i would hate for anything to happen to anybody so just be mindful of the waters that you're getting in. Puffin' on me high grade, sippin' on me liquor Girls, them a come, them a want, them a take her Bad man, me a coming, me a wanna take her Girls, them a come, them a want in on the liquor I steady sippin' on my liquor Then I tell her me she give and never trust another nigga I say she give me on the nigga Say she feelin' on the nigga, say she wanna